Every other Thursday, we're taking a look at a health issue or concern affecting many people, breaking down the information for you and telling you what you need to know to keep you healthy. In today's Ask a Doctor segment, Dr. Kalani Brady from the John A. Burns School of Medicine joins us with more on the coronavirus. Good morning, Dr. Brady. Good morning. And you're joining us with a very timely topic today. Yes, how to prepare your child's for school in the coronavirus era. And just yesterday, of course, the biggest number that we've had yet and all week long had been breaking records, but 109 new cases. So when it comes to these big numbers, what tips do you have for us as we're getting ready to send our kids back to school? First of all, let's break down your children uh, to older children and younger children. <clears throat> let's take our teenagers first. Uh, because they're almost adults and they think a lot of times as if they are adults. Mm -hmm. Have a talk with your teenagers. Let them do the talk at first with what their feelings and thoughts are. Then you have your chance to talk to your teenagers and basically impress on them the importance of responsibility and respect for the rules of the school and even when they're in the community outside the school for hand washing every uh, time they get the chance for 20 seconds, uh, for use of alcohol sanitizers, for use of face masks, uh, and in general for staying more at home than going out with friends and being unsafe. Uh, you may or may not be successful, but at least you can try. Right. And, and for, with older kids, it is, you know, a little bit easier to have them grasp, you know, how big this issue is and how important it is to practice these safety measures. But what about the younger kids? How do you go about that? Well, there are big changes from last year. Uh, prepare your younger children for the changes that are going to happen. I would also counsel a calm discussion with your younger children. Uh, I would listen first to their thoughts and feelings. Give them a chance to vent, uh, give them a chance to ask questions if they want, and then discuss your concerns with them. Uh, this includes social distancing, and all the preventive measures we've talked about. It includes letting them know that they shouldn't share meals or drinks at school because that is a way uh, potentially to spread COVID-19. Uh, and then you should have already at the time of discussion a plan for education of the children in case the school closes. Mm -hmm. Very important to do. Make a visit with your children's pediatrician to make sure that their uh, vaccines that are appropriate are up to date. This includes, for example, the MMR and the influenza vaccine, which will be coming out soon. Uh, good sleep habits after the summer, as brief as the summer was, uh, get back to good sleep habits so your children are prepared to learn once they're in the classes. Um, staying abreast of new school rules. So keep in contact not only with the school in general, but also with your teachers and follow the advice of your teachers uh, as they come out with uh, recommendations. Uh, give your kids many uh, hand sanitizers Respect the rules of the school regarding social distancing, masks, hand washing, etc. And then if your child is ill, keep them home. Don't send them to school if they're sick because the symptoms of colds and flus are frequently the same symptoms as coronavirus. Call their doctor. Uh, start a 14-day quarantine for them and follow your doctor's advice. And if your doctor recommends a COVID-19 test, 
and anyone is positive, consider quarantining the whole family. Okay, good tips. And again, it's a very different era that we're going to be heading into as we head back into school this year. And so you want to be doing all that you can to keep yourself and your family safe. All right. Thanks so much, Hi. Dr. Brady, for joining us this morning. And if you missed any of that, if you would like to rewatch anything that Dr. Brady just said, we'll have this segment on our website as well at k22.com. Thanks so much, Dr. Brady. You're welcome, Kelly. All right. And we'll see you next week. Next week. All right.